the laughter here seems a little happier. The air smells a little freer. I'm not just speaking metaphorically. Of course, in the NDP-caused liberal exacerbated recession, it is a dark fact that, of course, depression and suicides were way up. You cannot throw 200,000 working men and women in the oil patch out of work without a devastating social cost. Of course, the bubble of Edmonton, especially around the legislature, is immune from the vicissitudes of the private sector economy. It's always boom time here in bureaucratville. But for the rest of us, the sun is coming out. What a gorgeous day. I say all this because tomorrow is the last day in Rachel Notley's punitive job-killing carbon tax. It appears that Jason Kenney is keeping his first and largest promise to repeal that tax, a tax that was never mentioned, by the way, in Rachel Notley's sneak attack election in 2015. Need I remind you that according to an abacus poll, more than 90% of Albertans in 2015 who voted for the NDP said they did not support NDP policies. They simply wanted a change. Well, folks, they got a change and hard, didn't they? But the change is changing back. It'll be interesting to see what Jason Kenney's does repeal and what he does not repeal. I told you before about the ancient Roman concept of damnatio memoriae. That's my attempt at Latin. It means damn or condemn the memory. What emperors would do if they were deposing a rival, let's say a, in a family feud, is they would erase every trace of their rival. They would destroy any statues of them. They would scrape off any painting of them. They would repeal any laws made by them. Now, we don't know if damnatio memoriae ever worked, because if it worked, we wouldn't know about it. We know the cases where it didn't work because there were rem remnants. I believe the only way to cleanse Alberta is through fire of damnatio memoriae to torch every single statute passed by Rachel Notley and her crew of destroyers. It was as radical as any government in Alberta could get. I mean, just for one example, we see the horrors of Venezuela unfolding before our eyes. This is the government whose premier, Rachel Notley, personally had a Che Guevara wristwatch on. So 20 times a day as she would check the time, she would see and admire, I suppose, an actual murderer and terrorist. And of course, this fella was in caucus. Long live Hugo Chavez. Long live the values that he stood for. Compañero Presidente Hugo Chavez. So those dark days are gone. Jason Kenney and his uh, government are in charge. They're repealing the carbon tax. What else will they repeal? I understand they're repealing the desperate last-ditch attempt by Rachel Notley to appear to be pro-oil and gas, where she said she would buy what was it, $3 billion worth of oil by rail tanker cars, a bizarre public expenditure. Of course, oil and gas companies can buy all the rail cars they need. It was Rachel Notley's analogy to Justin Trudeau buying the existing Trans Mountain Pipeline, a pipeline that was already happily owned. It was just a distraction, a, a, uh, a, a fake. Um, and I think the most costly press release Justin Trudeau ever issued. I think it's the same thing for Jason Kenney repealing Rachel Notley's buy the oil tanker bill. But what about other things? Well, we see that they're reforming some of the labor laws passed by Rachel Notley that exacerbated the reception, uh, sorry, the recession. Will they go further? Will they repeal Bill 6, the Farm Unionization Act? Will they repeal some of the extremist changes made at Alberta Education where Notley and her anti-Christian bigots declared war on homeschooling and Christian schools. We'll see in the days and weeks ahead. We know that the media party hated those social reforms the most. I think the media party knew that the carbon tax was dead and the anti-oil, anti-pipeline, anti-gas uh, manifesto of the NDP was dead. But I think in the months ahead, you will see the media party and the rump opposition of the NDP, try to hang on to those social changes. That was the essence of their election campaign against Jason Kenney, to talk about gay rights and abortion and bigotry, this and that. 
I think of all the repeals that will be the most difficult in the damnatio memoriae, it's rolling back those social engineering experiments. That will be the toughest. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.